joining me on the Alberta Business Show. My name is Makita Waterman. I am the CEO owner of Top Writing Services Incorporated, a marketing and branding and writing agency here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be interviewing master and owner Tai Lei. He is the owner of Spirit Taekwondo, a martial arts uh, school here in my city. I'm super excited about this because it's uh, an industry that I haven't really touched on and had an opportunity to interview. Hi, thanks for joining. So I'm going to be joining um, Master Tyle on the chat. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Morning. How are you? Good. How are you today? Good. Thanks. Thanks for having me on. You're welcome. Thanks for joining, uh, Tyle. Uh, thank you. Joining uh, my audience here on the Alberta Business Show, I, I try to interview a new uh, entrepreneur every week, um, and you came to mind. Your amazing daughter has been corresponding with my content for probably close to a year now. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining me, buddy. So I'm happy to have you. Um, now, can you tell us how you started your business, how you're helping children and people in the Edmonton community? Yeah, for sure. Uh, well, I started um, my, my my own school uh, well 22 years ago. Um, Taekwondo has always been a passion of mine. I, I started at a young age. Um, I taught for my masters, um, and then uh, after university, it was uh, it was something I wanted to do instead of just sitting in an office and stuff like that, and uh, give back to the community. Um, with that, that you know because what i've learned in the beginning, it helped me stay out of trouble and i wanted to do the same thing for 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 the community and, and the kids that's awesome actually when i was younger i used to do judo and at that time you, you can you probably know this already it gave me so much self-esteem um and just going out there in the world in elementary school and dealing with life um what kind of journey do you notice with your students when they start with you and they finally leave or move on yeah, so uh, most of them, uh, a lot of them, when they come in, they'll, they, they, you know, they, they've either been bullied or um, they have low self-esteem, low confidence, very shy. Uh, but once they get into the program for 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 a few weeks and stuff like that, you, you see the growth in them, you see the confidence building in them. So when they go back to school or, or just life in general, uh, they they walk they walk taller, they they they, help, they hold their head up higher, and they're. Um, and, and they, they just a little bit more, like like more confident in dealing with with situations and things like that. So it's it's, it's nice progression, uh, especially after years of them being with us, um, just to see that growth in them. And 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 then you know when they were being from being bullies or followers, now they become the leaders of uh, of their community and, and 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 class and things like that. And that's awesome. Um, one of the things that I like about uh, your industry is just the level of discipline and mental energy it takes not to even just show up every day. But I truly believe that like martial arts, Taekwondo, Judo, etc., it, it channels along other areas of your life. It's just not showing up and, you know, you're getting more confident. Like I literally believe that at that time in my life when I was doing Judo, like I was confident across the board and my parents saw this almost like this kind of butterfly blooming into something completely different. Mm -hmm. um, what do you take from that? Yeah, no, that's that's exactly uh, exactly how, how it is. Like, um, there's just you, you know, you you have this internal energy and, and power and strength that you don't know how to tap into it, and then uh, it, it, with the right guidance, uh, with, with, with the right master instructor or whatever, they can bring that out in you, right? Um, you know, so, so sometimes you know, you like 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 just for example, my daughter, she she's always been pretty good at taekwondo. She she really tried it, but with a little bit of encouragement from myself and then other masters and stuff like that, um, she 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 um, how do you say? She came out and then she she never wants to compete, but then then she started competing, and then within within a year, she she won nationals, and then uh, she won the year after, and then and then going on to the Pan American uh, Championships and placing second there with her team, it's um she uh, it just it just made her a lot more confident and not knowing inside that that she could actually do things like this, so. I'm interested in hearing about your story. Uh, were you born here in Edmonton, Alberta? Uh, no, I wasn't born here. I was born in Vietnam. Uh, my parents fled the war in 1970, um, 
1974. Uh, we, so we arrived in Canada um, around that time, the end of 1974, beginning of 75 kind of thing. Um, and then so I've been uh, raised here all my life, um, moved away for a couple of years to Vancouver. Uh, but uh, but but Edmonton is, is, is where my heart was and uh, still is and always will be. Now, I know after this chat, um, when I upload this video on IGTV, I'm going to use a lot of uh, local hashtags and just Taekwondo hashtags. Actually, just by posting um, this update on stories, a couple of uh, Taekwondo companies started to follow me. Um, do you have any tips and advice for people who want to maybe start something like this in a studio or from home? Any tips you can give new um, entrepreneurs in your in your sector? Yeah, for sure. So um, th there are a lot of schools that, that are popping up. Um, you know, more, 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 more people are getting into it because they, they find that that's their passion. Um, the, the best thing is, is be true to yourself. Um, and then, and then, and, and then work on it. It's, 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 it's not going to be an overnight success. Um, it's taken me 22 years, uh, and, and, and continuing, uh, to, to grow. Uh, unfortunately with the COVID, um, we, 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 we had to adapt, um, our, our program by doing online classes. And then once the weather got better, we did outdoor classes um but it's just you know and then with the social media thing um i'm more of a facebook guy um sorry if i can say if i can say that but um just because i'm i'm the kind of the older generation kind of thing but then my daughter got us into the instagram thing and um, i find it a lot more positive than, than, than the facebook stuff but uh it's it's been great she, she 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 does really well she 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 follows a lot of people like yourself and stuff i have to get ideas and uh how, how to market and and, and how to uh, present our company and we've been getting uh you know our, our following has been growing slowly but surely and um and, and just getting the word out there that that we're around and everything like that and, it, and we, we get a lot of um interaction you know people asking questions and you know it's it's you know some people are too um too shy to answer on the phone or call so but it's easier for them to message through through instagram or or messenger and stuff like that and we've been doing a lot of uh contact that way so um just keep at it just work hard and um and yeah be true yourself that's great you actually covered uh one of the questions i was going to ask you how you're thriving or pivoting through your business how has it been personally um i know for me this year uh it just took me by surprise and i do a lot of meditation which you may or may not do and i had to just really get into my i know i think in the chinese culture it's called the chi in my mm -hmm. center yeah but how are you thriving personally yeah, um, in the beginning, it was uh, it was really really stressful, um, you know, not knowing what uh, what was going on with, with, with the world and everything like that. Um, when when they said we had to shut down, I was like worried about how how we were gonna pay bills. You know, I have a family to to, to raise and 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 uh, mortgage and car payments. Uh, but um, but our, our our landlord was really supportive. Um, our students were really supportive of, of, of what was going on. Um, you know, a lot of them continued to support um, with their payments, so, so they could do the online classes and outdoor classes and things like that. Um, and then uh, after after about you know, it took me about a good month before before I started really calming down and, and clearing my head and saying, you know what, you know, uh, we've been around for this long, and if, if we can adapt to this uh, we, we, we can uh, we can come back strong and we've been open now since um, about uh, mid-July and uh, slowly but surely most many of the students are coming back and we're actually getting um, a lot more students um, like new, new students um, just because they they see what we've been posting on on how we've been uh, dealing with, with with the COVID and the protocols that, that, that we have um, and we, uh, you know, we, we, you know, the minimum social distance is like uh, two meters. We, we actually have our students in three meters apart, uh, things like that. And it's just, it's, it's getting back to the point where we're, we're almost at, at, nor at normal um, and, and, and most of the students have come back. And it's, it's been really nice to actually see, see them in class. Um, and just to see the smiles on their faces um, after a good workout and things like that. So, so it's, it, it was a challenging at first, but like you said, um, just being patient and then just, just believing in yourself and then just, just taking the time to, uh, to, to have that meditation, doing yoga and stuff like that. Just some time for yourself and not worry about what the rest of the world is kind of doing or, or anything like that. 
That's great. And hey, Hanson. Hanson is actually, he doesn't live in um, Edmonton, but he's a young child in Toronto. Maybe he might be inspired to do Taekwondo in his city. But um, I did want to also say, I, I think it's good that you and your Taekwondo and martial arts that especially during this time, kids are confused. I follow some teachers on TikTok, as well as Hanson as well. And a lot of the conversation that keeps coming up is these teachers, well, before school started, is they were nervous about these conversations about the economy and all these other unfortunate things that have been popping up in the news. But the fact that you are helping these children stay mentally disciplined is helping also them to just stay in their center and be focused on what matters most. Um, now, I know you mentioned a lot of uh, children are a part of your target audience. Mm -hmm. Myself, just join in like a grown adult, or is your audience mostly children at this time? Yeah, no, it's actually a, a really good mix. Um, it's just in, in this time, you know, uh, a lot of the kids uh, have returned, but we've, we're actually getting a lot more um, teenagers this year um, and, uh, and, then we, we, and, and and adults. Um, uh, you know, like, you know, uh, as you well know, some people, you know, over the COVID, you know, the, none of the gyms being open and things like that, um, people gain weight, you know, they, they, they lost some confidence in themselves and stuff like that. Um, and they just want to get back in, in, into, in, into some kind of routine and, and, and training habits and things like that but um and then um you know going to the gym it's you know uh, unless you're really self-motivated to go to the gym by yourself and work out all the time some people just don't have that so when, when they come to our classes they um they, they, they get that they, they get that extra push by by uh by having other people in class and uh, and things like that they're just um you know beside besides myself and my instructing uh instructors team to, to motivate uh, all, all the students um the other students they they, they all you know it's, it's it's a chance for them to kind of, how do you say, um, mingle with other people with, with with being properly social distance and stuff like that. But but just being in an atmosphere with people, talking to them, training with them, and just having fun with them, um, gives them a lot more motivation to come to classes all the time. Where, you know, even though they, they, they may feel like oh, I'm sore today or I'm just you know not 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 that far. But once they come to class and they come and they finish class, it just makes them feel so much better. And as um, a master, Tyle, uh, for your Taekwondo and martial arts uh, company, what positivity or like words of encouragement can you offer since you are so good at teaching children how to hone in on their confidence and their self-awareness? What advice could you give some of the people on the line that might be down and out or feeling really um, scared at this time? Yeah, so for sure. Um, you know, it's, it's like... It, it, always look for the, 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 the silver lining in the cloud, right? Um, you're, you're, um, we're not in this alone. There, there's always some um, help and support, no matter um, whether it be um, some, some, uh, some organizations that have these phone numbers, but, you know, um, a friend to talk to or anything like that. Um, and, uh, and um, just uh, re reach out to people, don't, you know, um, don't, don't try to do this on yourself. Not everybody is a, a superhero, right? Even myself, I'm, I, you know, like, like, like over this time, I, I, I consulted with some friends and stuff like that, and just talking about it, just to try to keep me, keep me motivated to keep going. Um, so reach out to people. There, there are a lot of people that that are, are out there to help you and not put you down. So, yeah. And right. people like yourself with 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 with, with, uh, with with your posts and everything, they're always so motivating and uh, inspirational and stuff like that. So yeah, um, yeah, like yeah, you're doing a great job. Thank you. And um, is there is there anything new that's coming up? Do you have maybe an online show or a blog or a newsletter? Is there anything that people can know? Yeah, so uh, with our website, um, we, uh, we, 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 we we do just we, we just update once a month with, with blogs and, and newsletters and stuff like that. Um, if, if, if you go onto our website and then uh, sign in and, and then you can read our blogs or 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 get our newsletters and then uh, and things like that, and then just, or just follow us on on Facebook and Instagram. There there there's always uh, updates and on what's going on and and things like that and, uh, in our school. And before we go, uh, Master Tyle, uh, how can people reach you on, um, what's your name on Facebook and how can people reach you even by phone if possible? Yeah, so uh, they, they can go to our website at uh, edmontontaekwondo.ca, uh, follow us on Facebook, just look up Spirit Taekwondo, um, same thing with our Instagram. Um, 
and then uh, our phone number uh, is is all on 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 those on on, on those on those sites and uh, feel free to give me a call email or anything like that and uh, ask any questions you may have before you want to come down uh, we offer a one week free trial to come down and just even just try it out to see if this is for you it's not for everybody but uh, but at least uh, you can come down for a month for I mean for a week for free and see if, if you like it and does anyone have any questions for Master Tyle? For everybody that uh, just recently joined, I am chatting with Master Tyle. He owns a Taekwondo martial arts company here in my city. Uh, we open the floor to questions about, you know, self defense or mental mastery, keeping positive during this time. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions for him, and we'll be more than happy to to answer your questions. Had some interesting comments on the line here. Awesome. And amazing by Ra Rakin Pum Sai Pum and Sai. Spirit Taekwondo. Oh, awesome. And I had some hellos. This is actually one of the most interactive uh, chats I've had in a while. So thank you, everybody, for joining. Hi, uh, Sarah Donato, if you're still in there. Yeah, Sarah, she's, she's coming back to class this week. She, she's had taken some time off. And uh, awesome. she, and uh, I saw Rankin TKD on, on there that, that, that waved hello and stuff like that. He's, a, uh, he's, a, he's actually a Paralympic um, athlete uh, from, the, from the United States. Uh, we got to see him perform and compete at the uh, Pan American Championships where he placed first. Um, very inspirational story himself. He's just opening up his own school in the States um, teaching... Um, um, other Paralympic athletes and stuff like that. So he's doing a great job down there as well. Awesome. So I don't see have any, have any questions here. Thanks for joining Tammy Lei. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this uh, chat on IGTV. If anybody on the line lives in Alberta, Canada, and you have any recommendations for businesses, let me know. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Master Tai Lei. Thank you for having me. And everybody on the line that's been here, wow, six of you are on the line. This is really great uh, engagement. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, if you want to reach out to Mr. Tai Lei and learn more about uh, Spirit Taekwondo, I'm going to tag him in the uh, caption. So definitely check out his page and reach out to him if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or concerns. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. All have right, a wonderful bye. day. Have a great day. Bye. You too.